At night when she wants to pray, uh, she feels like there's a presence around her, there's some sort of evil influence. This is shaitan, simple. He doesn't want you to pray and he's distracting you from your prayer. I remind you of two things. Your adhkar of the evening. So ayatul kursi in the evening after maghrib is of absolute importance. Ayatul kursi in the morning again after the fajr salah of absolute importance. If you read these, لا يزال عليك حافظ حتى تصبح There will be a hafiz, there will be a protector, an angel with you until you wake up. So that is one. Number one, your adhkar. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقُ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ These adhkar will help protect you from the devil. Number one. Number two, ignore any evil influence that you feel. Ignore it. Because what the devil wants you to do is to turn to that which he distracts you with. So if you show fear, even if you may be feeling fear within, ignore. Ignore altogether. You see a pen moving on its own, ignore it. Read Ayatul Kursi when you see that happening. And it will literally go away. It can't stand that. You know, it wants your attention. It wants to distract you from Allah. So don't give it that attention. You know, the hadith mentions that when one of you mentions shaitan, he becomes as big as a house. He's happy. He's, hey, I've been mentioned, you know. He's in the zone now. But when you say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajim, he becomes as small as a fly. He runs. It said, he runs until you can hear the passing of wind. So Allah knows best what that really means, whether he really passes wind or, you know, he runs away. So it's actually good to just say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajim. And then recite your ayatul kursi and perform your salah. He won't do anything to you. And don't let those thoughts engulf you as well because then now you start thinking and your mind is churning and you're saying hey but this thing is here it, it won't affect you at all as long as you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala